Rajiv was doing his maths homework. Before lunch, the ratio of completed to uncompleted questions was 2 is to 5. After lunch, he completed another 5 questions. The ratio of completed to uncompleted questions became 5 is to 9. How many questions were there? So, before lunch, the ratio of completed to uncompleted questions was 2 is to 5. So, completed is to uncompleted was 2 is to 5. After lunch, he completed another 5 questions. So, the question, completed questions were increased by 5, while the uncompleted questions were minus 5. And the ratio of completed to uncompleted questions became 5 is to 9. So, this becomes 5 is to 9. Now, we have to take note that the total number of questions should be the same because once I complete one question, the number of uncompleted questions will reduce by 1. So, there's a total of 7 units here and a total of 14 units here. So, in order to make them the same, I need to multiply this set by 2 and I will get 14 units. Which means that this will also have to multiply by 2, I will get 4 is to 10. So from here, we know that from 4 units to increase to 5 units and 10 units to reduce to 9 units, there's a difference of 5. Thus, 1 unit represents 5. So the total number of units is 14 units. Because we have made them the same, so it's easier for us to compare. So 14 units would be 14 times 5. And that gives us 70. So the question asks, how many questions were there? There were a total of 70 questions.